Macquarie University has entered its second day of the 74th graduation ceremony, which has seen students from the College of Education and External Studies and the College of Agriculture and Environmental Science graduate with degree of Doctorate of Philosophy, Master's degrees and Bachelor's degrees. Health Tutors College Mulago has presented 160 graduates through the College of Education and External Studies, which it affiliates to, who have been awarded with Bachelor's degrees in medical education. These have been trained in pedagogical aspects, how to conduct training in theory, technical and discipline. The degree of Bachelor of Medical Education of Macquarie University has been awarded At the same time, we also skill them with the technical aspect of their discipline, whereby we take them to the clinical area and they are able to look into the current conditions which are existing in the health facilities so that they are able to teach the students the current conditions that are existing in the health facilities. The College of Education and External Studies has supported and mentored lecturers in developing 1,300 quality and inclusive online learning courses across all colleges and by June 2024 more than 3,000 courses will have been transformed. Under the College of Agriculture and Environmental Science, researchers developed solar power cookers that will help revitalize cooking practices, hence mitigate environmental consequences of traditional cooking practices. Funded by the Danish Fellowship Center under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark, the project known as Nature-Based Solutions for Climate Resilient Tea Production in Uganda is envisaged to sustainably bridge the tea yield gap in Uganda by developing research-based NBS and Nature-Based Solutions for Enhanced Climate Resilience of Tea Production Systems. The project will identify and quantify climate change impacts on tea yield and quality in Uganda. Justin Chilamaloa, a lecturer at Gulu University, has been awarded with a degree of Doctorate of Philosophy. He made a research on the impact of climate and land use, land cover change on water quality in Mount Elegon region. He expressed the need for policymakers to invest in water quality management. Now with a lot of water coming into the rivers with poor river uh, bank management because the wetland will have been destroyed we shall have a lot of silt and uh, many contaminants being washed into the water but that will translate into a lot of water downstream now a lot of water downstream meaning the people in the lower end will have serious issues of flooding and not only flooding the water quality is going to be bad infrastructure that can withstand flooding they, you have seen now bridges have been collapsing. So we know for the fact that these problems is going to escalate in future. So the bridges, where it needs to be repaired, should be done now. Where it needs to be reinforced, should be done now. The, the water, water treatment centers should be uh, expanded to, to enhance capacity, both human and... Solving global challenges of climate change requires afforestation. However, what will people eat when they use their land for cultivation to plant trees? Esther Kemigisha, who was also awarded a Doctor of Philosophy, recommends for payment for environmental services for forest conservation. I'm getting um, 100,000 in a hectare and um, I want to still get that 100,000. I was getting it from maize, but now you are telling me, no, please plant uh, eucalyptus, an example. So um, I need to be compensated what I was getting from the eucalyptus if I am getting it in another way and then so we have your livelihood sustained but we also have the trees. I'm Navka Farida and Dan Lugemwa in Makere.